My name is Anahit and we are going to make a resound. Um, if you don't know what it is, it's a meme sound. I will show you now. Hold on. This one. Uh -huh. So we are, go we are going to make that sound with the help of AI chat, which is called Copilot. Copilot or Copilot, I don't know. So let's see what it's going to happen. Okay. Okay, so let's open a couple lot here. Uh -huh. I already messaged um, a couple lot about this. So we had actually a long conversation. I was uh, asking how to make it in serum, how to make uh, in general the sound, everything. Ta -ta -ta -ta. So um, we have the overview, let's say. Uh -huh. And now we have the question, uh, it's not a question, it's more of a comment from me, I'm sorry, maybe I'm uh, not so polite with the chat. Uh, give me a guide on how to create all the layers of the wrist sound with my type. Why I did like the way I asked like this and I didn't ask like, ah, just give me a, just, just give me, s tell me how to make a sound, uh, this sound. No, in that case... It doesn't really know that we can use different layers, which we do. We 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 use a lot of layers. We have the capability for that. Okay. So what it says first to create all the layers of the wrist sound. I will highlight it for you. Uh, with my tie, a polyphonic and a polyphonic synthesizer in some one. You can follow these steps. Okay, let's go. First. You need to initialize my type by clicking on the in in the button at the top right corner of the interface. This will give you a blank patch with a single sine wave oscillator and no modulation or effect. You got it. Hold on. My tie append initialize. Usually it is set to default and I do init initialize. Wait, thank you. Bye. <laughs> Not bye. We're continuing. Uh, actually, I will put just a one note here, so... Don't yell at me, okay? Okay. This one, done. Next. You need to change the oscillator waveform to noise by clicking on the wave button and selecting noise from the menu. You got it. Okay, here's our patch, noise, activated, great. Here, here it says that we need to use the cutoff filter. Um, here, a lot of talk here. And here it says, for wrist sound, you might want to use high pass filter with a high cutoff frequency and high resonance, which will create a sharp and narrow peak in the frequency spectrum. Okay. To be honest, I'm a bit skeptical about this because um, I, th I think it has some wrong understanding of what this wrist sound is. I mean, what? Which wrist sound I'm talking about? Is there a different wrist sound than this one? Hmm. Okay, high pass filter, resonance. Let's check what we hear. Let's set oscillator, t mm, I mean deactivate it because we don't need it. Okay. Next step, you need to modulate the filter cutoff using an envelope, of course. For resound, you might want to use a short attack, a short decay, a long sustain, and a short release, which will create a quick and snappy sound. You can use the amp envelope or envelope 2 to modulate the filter cutoff by dragging the envelope. Uh, I come to the cutoff knob and setting the amount of modulation with the blue ring around the knob. Blue ring. I think it. I think it thinks we are in serum, but I did mention about my type. 
Anyways, okay, well, I get what it says, but I think you get me wrong here, Coffee Lot. We are setting attack to low. I'm, I will keep it like this, maybe a bit higher so we don't get that sound uh, every time it star starts. However, it does have the boom sound. I don't understand what it says to do right now. Okay, just let's go. Let, let's just do whatever it asks to do. Decay a little bit, sustain low, it said, release short, right? Decay we can make a bit short, okay, shorter, uh, shorter. And assigning this envelope, the second envelope, to filter cutoff. And let's hear what we have. Anyways, I think it wants high sound, higher resonance sound. I mean, the coffee lot suggests to have a high resonance sounds. Okay, well, I'm done. I still don't understand what's going on, really. Let's just shape it as the way we shape this thing. Hold on. Uh, a, a bit of attack, short decay, low sustain, a bit of release. Okay, let's go on. Finally, it says finally. What? Finally, we don't. We, we are not done at all. Finally, you need to add some effects to enhance the resound. What resound? You can use reverb, delay, or distortion to add some space. Echo. Gri oh my god. Oh my god. No. So definitely not the sound we are looking for. Something is not not right. Uh, okay. Um, as you can see, we didn't get what we wanted. Um, well, I will post. Still, I will post this video just to let you know that technology and this AI thing. Mm -mm, it's not always trustworthy okay in any case i will um i will make another video and will make the resound for you because i don't want to just put that in my title and be like ah this sound i will make it for you not a problem and we'll make another tutorial on that yeah uh thank you for watching Sorry for the failure, I guess. Well, it's for the people. It's it's a human thing to fail. But it's okay. See you next time. No, no. See you next time. So, um, that's it. Subscribe. <laughs> I mean, you should. Yeah. Bye.